Boards and Beyond. Boards and Beyond is like a video series, if you will. It's created by a cardiologist and he basically goes over the different topics in medicine that you learn in medical school. And he just explains it in a pretty clear way. So if you're struggling to understand your lecture material and you watch his videos, then you might get a better idea of what's going on. Um, you can also take notes from Boards and Beyond into your notes that you know you're going to look back at when you're studying for step one, because he does have some useful information on there. And similarly, there's Pathoma, but Pathoma is created by a doctor who essentially discusses pathology, meaning diseases that you encounter in the field of medicine during your medical school studies. So different kidney diseases and what they look like on gross specimens and on histology slides. And he'll go over that and give some additional information that's really uh, important. And I know a lot of people use Pathoma for their step one studying as well. And you can use this during your time in medical school when you are learning pathology. So along with your pathology lecture slides, you can also watch Pathoma videos. And it's easier to study Pathoma alongside your pathology lecture material because they go hand in hand. Then there's something called Sketchy. Sketchy is a video series where someone draws cartoons and it's not animated it's just a comic type of cartoon like a scene they'll they'll draw a scene in order to help you remember information for example they might draw a whale that could represent the drug bleomycin or they could draw something like a cow with a black spot on it that represents liver enlargement things like that to help you remember there are so many different bacteria fungi viruses etc that you need to remember. You need to know their names, what they do, where you can find them, how they affect the human body, what diseases they could cause, and the drugs that can treat them. So Sketchy goes over not only microbiology, but also the different types of drugs. The drugs that you'll encounter in medical school have really weird names, and they don't necessarily sound like what they are used to treat. So it's not like cardiology drugs sound like something in cardiology. They have random names. One of my friends made a joke when we asked, who makes these names? She's like, I bet they have some kind of random name generator out there, those farm industry folks, because there's some strange names. So it can be quite difficult to recall all of this information. So Sketchy makes it a bit easier by drawing out these fun little cartoons to help you remember the microbiology and the pharmacology. There is some pathology for cardiology, respiratory and renal as well, if that helps you. I don't mind Sketchy. I think it's creative, but some of the videos can be quite long, like 20 minutes long and it's just so much little stuff that you need to remember like oh this pearl necklace represents um xyz and this little teacup represents abc and little things that you have to remember but if you keep going through the videos or just the pictures in general and reminding yourself which what each little thing represents then it'll be easier for you to retain that information and you don't have to watch the videos all over again so it works for some people for some not so much if you have difficulty memorizing sketchy could work for you but if you don't have any difficulty memorizing i would still maybe at least try sketchy out because it could help usually once you get towards the end of your second year and you're studying for step one there's so much information that you have to recall and go over and it can be quite overwhelming on top of that you have to remember all of this pharmacology and microbiology and it could be too much but if you have been using sketchy for a while in your previous semesters and you've gotten used to it you can recall that information much faster i think so at least give it a try see how you like it and ideally give it a try in your second year of medical school or whenever it is that you're learning about pharmacology and microbiology give it a try and then there's anki so anki is basically flashcards there's so many anki decks out there it's free to use it, it's kind of like sketchy in a way where you have to keep going over it in order to remember everything could be of benefit to you especially if you struggle with memorization i used anki a little bit in the beginning but it didn't really stick with me and i felt like if i used it from day one of medical school yes day one of medical school it might have been more useful to me but 
you know, people have done just fine without Anki as well, so try it out. <laughs> see if you like it. See if it sticks. Complete Anatomy. Complete Anatomy is what it sounds like. It is a resource where you can see the human body and you can move the little human body figure around. You can see the different veins and arteries and bones and where everything goes. It's great if you're a visual learner. There's so many veins and arteries and nerves and everything going around everywhere. It's just nice to see the whole human body and where each little nerve and artery goes and where it crosses certain bones and certain muscles and things like that. I know people who've done fine on anatomy without it. Rx is an online resource that you can use to test to see if you really understood the material on first aid is how I would best put it. The type of questions, the clinical cases like a 56 year old man comes to the clinic because he has a right flank pain that radiates to the groin, etc, etc. What's his issue? <laughs> a, B, C, D, E, and then you select and then you can see the explanation and the pictures at the bottom. And it's good for when you're studying for step one, I think, and you just want to make sure you really understood the information from first aid as well. U World is like the big kahuna. <laughs> It's what people use, especially during step one studying. It's a must have. It's basically similar to Rx in that it asks you these multiple choice questions with these vignettes and they could show you histology slides, they could show you gross specimens and ask questions. The best thing about UWorld are the explanations, not just the questions, because the explanations provide you with a lot of information that you might not even have gotten from first aid or from your lecture material. It's a lot of information and if I were to go back in time, what I would do is early on or in my mid second year of medical school, I would have purchased UWorld. It's a little expensive, but I would have purchased UWorld and I would have taken notes on the explanations. I would have tried to understand and memorize those explanations because UWorld has a lot of info and a lot of it seems like new information that I personally did not see in my lecture material. So I would have started a little earlier with UWorld instead of the last semester of my second year. I would have started maybe mid second year medical school. NBMEs, they're practice exams. Four blocks, 50 questions each, so a total of 200 questions. The actual step one exam is 280 questions. It's a seven hour long exam. So the NBME is like a practice exam that you could take. You answer the multiple choice questions and at the very end, they'll give you a, a score and a range. It's a guesstimate of what kind of score you might get when you take the actual step one exam. So I would do NBMEs in my late second year of medical school during step one preparation. I know that was a lot and I'll go over what I think and a lot of students think are the most important materials for step one prep, but these are just some materials that you can use during your first two years of medical school or maybe just your second year of medical school. Definitely give them a try early on to see how you like them and if anything sticks with you. And happy studying everyone. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Have a great day.